lightning is one of the many different types of examples of electric current that exist in nature. In other words, lightning is a natural phenomenon. It's a natural example of electric current. Now, in this example, we're going to explore how much power is produced by a single lightning bolt. So let's begin. An average lightning bolt can carry 1.0 times 10 to 9 joules of energy across an electric potential difference of 4 times 10 to the 7 volts during a time interval of 0.2 seconds. We want to find the total amount of charge transferred from our cloud to our ground in a time interval of 0.2 seconds and then we want to find the total power produced by this single lightning bolt strike. Now the reason we want to find the amount of charge is because that will help us find our current and using our current and voltage we can then find the power using the formula P equals I times V. So let's begin. First we must find our charge or the total amount of charge transferred by this single lightning bolt. Recall the formula. Change in electric energy is equal change in voltage divided by our charge. In other words, to find our charge, I simply take my amount of energy transferred and divide it by my electric potential difference. And I get 10 to the 9 joules of energy that our lightning bolt carries divided by 4 times 10 to the 7 volts. This is the potential difference of our lightning bolt. And we get our charge to be 25 coulombs. That's a very large charge. So 25 coulombs of charge is transferred from our cloud to the ground in 0.2 seconds. So that means to find our current, we could simply approximate our formula to be the current is approximated by our amount of charge divided by change in time. So since we gain 25 coulombs of charge, we divide that by 0.2 seconds, that's how much time it takes to travel this distance, and we get 125 amperes. This is the current of our lightning bolt, or in our lightning bolt. Now, in the final example, we want to find the power. To find the power, we simply take our current and multiply it by our potential difference or voltage, and we get 125 amps multiplied by 4 times 10 to the 7 volts gives us 5 billion watts. 5 billion. That's a lot of watts. And this is equivalent to saying 5 gigawatts. This is how much energy or how much power is required to run New York City. In other words, the power that comes with a single lightning bolt is enough power to run the city of New York. And that includes all five boroughs.